Well, this is uh, NO2CW, November Oscar II Charlie Whiskey, uh, and this is a, a quick demonstration of uh, connecting and uh, uh, getting the latest firmware for the KX2 uh, using the supplied tools uh, by the manufacturer. Number one, we'll make sure that our radio is on uh, in order to plug it into the computer and uh, uh, com for the computer to recognize it. Number two, we will download and install the um, utility program provided by Elecraft and that's on their uh, on their web page and you just need to download it and install it. Um, some antivirus software may uh, issue a warning and then you would just have to go back and, and tell your antivirus software that the file is safe uh, otherwise it will get it may get automatically deleted unless uh, um, it is known to your antivirus program. But once you start it up it's going to look something uh, like this. Using the uh, cable that came with uh, the radio, we will plug it into ACC. And the other side, we will plug into uh, the computer that, uh, where, that where we installed the program and where we will be working. Once your computer has um, established connection with, uh, with the new hardware that was uh, connected, you may want to find out and be sure what uh, COM port was assigned to the KX3. So in your search box, and this is, box, and this is Windows uh, 8, and, uh, 8 and 10, but it's not that different in, uh, in 7 and older versions, you just have to find your device manager. If you don't have a shortcut to it, if you are not familiar where it resides, just type device manager and uh, you, will, uh, you will see where it is. And uh, what you would need to do is start it up. And in the device manager, uh, you will navigate to your um, COM ports, expand it, and you will see the connection USB serial port COM3. I'm pretty sure this is what got assigned to, uh, to the radio that was just connected uh, to the computer. And uh, the KX utility program needs that in order to send and establish communication with the KX3. So just remember that this was COM port 3. We will go back to the KX. Uh, uh, to utility and uh, this port should now be visible and available in the drop down and this is the first tab of the utility uh, where we um, tell the utility what COM port to communicate uh, with uh, the radio and uh, you can do test communication if you like um, and you will you should get a message and uh, um, actually the, the, uh, the communication parameters um, once you're sure that the communication has been established, uh, here's your, well, one of the first things that you want to do, probably, is to go to your configuration tab and uh, do your uh, custom, um, custom welcome uh, banner. Uh, you have a nice new KX2, why not give it a, a personalized uh, greeting there? And this is uh, personalized to N1SPY, wh uh, who happens to be uh, my son. And uh, he will be the primary user of the radio, and he gave it the name Wave Runner. N1SPY is 10 years old and just achieved uh, extra class. So he, uh, it's, uh, the KX2 is uh, well-deserved. So this is the custom message that will pop up when the radio is uh, turned on. Now, back to the firmware tab. Uh, the manufacturer has confirmed that they will be making uh, frequent updates to the firmware uh, as they add new features and uh, more feedback comes from, uh, um, from users and new suggestions and new functionality uh, comes to the radio. Uh, the good news is the radio being is software upgradable. Uh, many new features can be added and uh, we're likely to see um, uh, those come in every now and then and this is the best way to uh, check whether you have the latest release uh, and uh, um, you will check your revisions now what this will do is will it will compare what's installed on your KX3 and what's available from Elecraft uh, 261, 261, DSP, I, I just made a recent update but uh, if they were not um, the same what you would do is you will copy the new files from uh, from the manufacturer, they will come in, and then you will run a sequence where you send all firmware to KX2, and that will all happen uh, automatically. 
So here they, we are with the radio fully, um, fully updated. And uh, um, there's a um, way to scroll in through the menus and display your current, uh, current versions of, of the software. And uh, you're welcome to do that uh, uh, as well. And just uh, in general, keep in, uh, keep in touch with the manufacturer and, and be on top of any uh, new releases and uh, any new uh, features that come to this uh, wonderful little radio. And uh, thank you for uh, watching. I hope you find this uh, helpful. This is uh, NO2CW, November Oscar 2, uh, Charlie, Whiskey uh, 70.